It's time for the Moonshot Money Weekly Roundup, where Chase, Isaac, and Mike recap the investing week. Good Friday, everyone, and welcome to the Moonshot Money Weekly Roundup. Along with Chase and Isaac Vickers, I'm Mike Vickers. We're glad to have you along with us, and we hope everyone's having a great start to the new year. It's Friday, January the 7th, 2022, and this is something brand new that we are trying uh, just to see if you get any value out of it. We're just going to have a conversation about the past week in the stock market, and we're going to share uh, some of the things that we've been buying and selling, some of our thoughts. There's just a lot of stuff to talk about, especially this week, because the growth and the tech stocks have absolutely just been rocked. And we know a lot of you out there are feeling the pain from that. There's nothing more disheartening than to open up your brokerage account and see a straight red line down. Uh, And that's what we've all been experiencing here for the last few weeks, it seems like. So, uh, Chase, uh, what have you been concentrating on this week? Have you been buying anything? You've been selling anything? Or are you just waiting around? Yeah, I've bought a few things this week. Um, my biggest concentration is paying off a car that my wife owns. <laughs> so that's where a lot of my focus is going to be this year. But I have bought uh, just a little bit more QYLD to produce that monthly income. It's pretty mm-hmm. pretty good seeing that um, dividend or that income drop into the account today, right. uh, which was the day that uh, January 7th where it drops in. Um, so it's cool to get a little bit more of that just to kind of build that up for the future. Um, I've also been nibbling on Teladoc. Uh, I think that it was somewhere around $300 in February. So I have a hard time believing that it's not a good buy in the 80s. Yeah, so I, I've I been agree. buying Teladoc a little bit this week. Um, you know, I think in the future, you know, be able to FaceTime your doctor from home via be a pretty amazing thing, and I could see many people going to that. So that's a couple of things that I've been buying. Let me just say, too, about the Teladoc situation. We had mentioned this in a previous video, but people are having, uh, they're buying their groceries at Walmart now, and they're doing it online, having someone shop for them so they can just go by and pick it up. It saves the time of shopping. We buy stuff from Amazon, have it delivered in two days to keep us from having to go out and shop. And I see Teladoc. Uh, very, very similar to that. You know, if you enjoy going to the doctor, well, it, it won't make any sense. But I don't think there's very many of us out there that enjoy the doctor's office. But when people get used to being able to do a FaceTime or a tele televisit with their doctor instead of having to go to the doctor, it's going to take off. And it, it's just going to be one of those uh, conveniences like we're experiencing and it, how, how things are evolving. You agree with that, Chase? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I 100% agree to be able to Zoom or FaceTime your doctor would yeah. be uh, much better than getting in the car and heading to the doctor's office. I think it's one of those things in the future we'll look back and say, I can't believe I used to go sit yeah. in a crowded waiting room. Yeah, and, and the fact that it has you know fallen by more than two-thirds uh, from its high is, is pretty crazy. So I'll, I'll jump in here. Uh, I like what you've done with QYLD, uh, which is the NASDAQ 100 Covered Call ETF. Um, I've been uh, uh, adding to that myself. Uh, as you know, I've, I've talked to you about this. Um, for now, I, I feel like my growth uh, in the tech uh, account that I have is, is kind of full for the time being, and I have begun uh, to work on building a dividend and an income account uh, over with Fidelity. And uh, so, you know, this week I have um, been buying some uh, biopharmaceutical things, uh, Bristol Myers Squibb, uh, AbbVie, Gilead, and Pfizer all uh, are showing up uh, as very bullish. And um, they, they are around a 3% uh, and higher uh, dividend yield. So uh, I've just been accumulating those. Also um, have added to my Verizon holdings this week, just a little bit. Uh, currently, they're at a 467 a dividend yield, I think, which is, is pretty cool. And and just like you, I have um, bought some more Teladoc. I just feel like that that is a, a super good bargain. But there there's bargains everywhere. And just because we mentioned something today doesn't mean that's the only thing out there because there, there are so many good buys right now. It is crazy. Um, also, uh, I started, uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I started a very small position in Lowe's and Home Depot. Wow. Uh, because um, 
uh, we have both of those uh, uh, retail stores in our town here, and we're there almost every day, mm-hmm. it seems like, picking up mm-hmm. something. And so uh, we, we began that. And, and then the, uh, uh, the, the Round Hill uh, ETF with about the metaverse, uh, Meta, M-E-T-A, is something that I'm just buying a little bit of it. It, it holds so many uh, different companies that uh, like NVIDIA and Facebook, Meta, and all those different things that are going to be a huge player uh, in the metaverse. And we just feel like that's, that's coming really big in the windshield. Um, uh, I can't help but buy a little bit more Tesla every time it, it dips down. And uh, so th- those are some of the things that I've been doing. Uh, here's, a, here's a man of few words uh, that is the mastermind behind most everything we do, uh, and that's Isaac. So Isaac, let me ask you, have you done anything this week in your investing account? What have you been buying this week? Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that's it (laughs) well one word ethereum so uh those of you that are listening you know where isaac's been parking his money uh chase is there anything else that uh that you would like to add today um back to the teledoc thing just real quick i was thinking that you know for it to fall from 300 into the which I looked at it earlier this week at $91 and thought that's dirt cheap and yeah. it's got to be a great buy. And then to see it, you know, into the low eighties, uh, who knows, you know, they say not to try to catch a falling knife, yeah. you know, it's kind of concerning. Um, who knows how far it'll go. And it's almost like, just because Kathy Wood's big on it, that the, uh, everybody, I don't know if they're driving it down or what, but until the sentiment changes there, we never know. But I just feel like that that has to be for the future, just an incredible buy under a hundred bucks there. Yeah, and then I agree. I love the Lowe's and Home Depot plays. I've been watching, I've told you this, been watching both of them since COVID happened and yeah. dying to get into both of them, watch them drop and then just watch them continue to climb and still haven't started a position there. Uh, but I love those plays as well. And as Isaac said, I have also bought Ethereum this week. I, I was buying it at 4400 buying it at 3900 buying it at 37 and then just the most recent dip around 34 35 Been buying some more there, and I'll continue to do so if it falls. I love that for the future. Yeah, I think that's a good move for, for all the younger guys there. Um, and also, uh, talking about a stock that has, has fallen and seems to be a bargain to me is PayPal. Uh, you know, we, we've kind of been watching that and, and, and nibbling just a little bit, but what a great company and, and how far that stock has, has corrected itself. Well, let us know in the comments if you're interested in something like this weekly roundup from the Moonshot Money team. Just let us know, and, and uh, we hope to be able to do this for you once a week uh, when we absolutely can. So we, uh, thank you very much for listening, and have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>